This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. This is video three of solving equations with decimals. In video one and two, we did problems like this. X minus 4.5 equals eight, etc., or 8.1, something like that. And now we're doing ones where we have a number times X equals a decimal. So here's our first problem. We solved this just like it was something like 2x equals 6. It's of that form ax equals b. Let me move this over a little bit. So let's just divide both sides by 2. All right, now we just have to do 6.4 divided by 2. So you want to have a whole number in the bottom, which we do have. And then we, we could think of this as just 64 divided by 2, which is 32. And then, but we have to go in one place because the numerator has one decimal place. So if it's a whole number in the denominator, you just go in the same number of places as the top. I've gone over multiplication and division with decimals in my videos just on decimals. So if you need some practice on that, you might want to look some of, at some of those videos. You can also go over to the side and do it like this and get 3.2 as well, okay, if you need to do that. So let's check. So here's our original equation. We're going to plug in 3.2 for x and simplify. So how do you multiply numbers with decimals? Don't worry about the decimals. Think of it as 2 times 32, which is 64, and then move your decimal in one place. So the left-hand side is 6.4. Right now we look at the right-hand side. It happens to also already be 6.4, so it checks. So that means that was the correct answer. So we could write our solution using set notation in braces. All right, here's our next problem. Why don't you put the video on pause and try it on your own? I'm going to move it over here just to give myself a little room. All right, so. Same thing, we've got a whole number over here which makes things nice. So divide both sides by 3. Now that one may be harder to do in your head, right? So let's just go over to the side and do our division. So 3 into 11.22, so it gives you 9. 3 into 22 is 7. And then 3 into 12 is 4. Remember I'm just bringing down the number, so it goes in evenly at this point, no rounding required, hallelujah. So x is 3.74, hopefully. We of course want to check our answer in the original equation. So we have 3 times 3.74. How do we do 3 times 3.74? Well, we go over to the side and do our scratch work again. You could just think of it as 3 times 374. So just write 374 times 3. You don't have to put the decimal point in on your scratch work. That's up to you. So you put the 12, carry the 1, that's 22, carry the 2, 1, 1. But it really was 3.74. I like to put it in at the end. The decimal point was here. And so we only have to count two places because that's, there's only one number that has decimal points. So when you multiply here, we get 11.22. Well, the right side is also 11.22. So it checks. So this is the correct answer. And if we were going to write that using, uh, let me move this stuff kind of a little out of the way here. Okay, there's our scratch work. And the solution to this problem then is 3.74. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.